Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So we're gonna take some Instagram inspiration today and create an easy digital background using some layer styles. So um, here I have the Instagram inspiration open and I was actually preparing another tutorial when I scrolled through this and I'm like, um, love it, sparkly, fun, gorgeous and um, kind of reminded me a little bit of a leopard print. So this is Zuhair, Zuhair Murad, um, I think he's a, Le he's a Lebanese, yeah. Lebanese designer, uh, haute couture, love his stuff. So I just thought we'd make a really quick little digital background inspired by this. So let's pop over to our Photoshop here. And we're just gonna make something easy today, keep it light, keep it fun. And this is kind of something I was playing around with. So I'm gonna turn everything off. We'll start with a black background and I'm gonna add a new layer and uh, I'm gonna open up a toolkit. It's my Rainbow Butterfly collection um, and I have this leopard pattern brush and I'm just gonna brush it out like this and it's kind of an inverse brush. So I'm gonna do something that I do all the time. I remembered I had a leopard pattern in this brush, but I wanna do it inverse. So I'm gonna just start with this brush. I'm gonna pop over to my brush settings and here in the texture, I'm gonna click invert. And now that brush is how I want it. And I'm gonna like check the contrast and I'm gonna turn the contrast up a little bit cause I don't want this if you look over here, um, it's got like a, like I wanted black and white basically. So this gray is not good. So I'm going to up the brightness or no, not the brightness. I'm going to up the contrast of my pattern that's within the brush. And that's cool. I'm happy with how that looks. That's a gray brush. And we're going to do some layer styles. And actually it's funny because sometimes I'm so into my color blending brushes now, I forget how awesome the, my layer styles are, like especially my Instagram, Instagram ones, they're so versatile. So I'm going to, let's see here, let's cut this. We've got the brush made. I'm happy with how it turned out. Oops, you know what, I'm gonna up the contrast. I'm upping the contrast to 100. So I do this all the time and this is gonna, you know, something that can help you in your workflow is sometimes you have like, I adapt my brushes all the time to my needs. So I'm gonna tweak them. And sometimes I have something that's pretty much like what I want, but I might change the pattern, whatever. But this is like kind of a real world workflow. So I've got that brush. And if I don't wanna lose it, I can just um, add it to my brush panel and whatever, but uh, that's good. So I'm gonna go over here to my libraries. If you don't see this, go Windows libraries. And I have all of my Instagram um, styles saved as libraries. So Instagram gold, I'm gonna see these as, let's see here. What do I, no, 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 you know what I want, I know what I want. I want my creative couture. Those are more glittery. And I think that they're more sequiny. So I think that that's gonna be more what I'm looking for. And I'm gonna click this and have them as a list. And what I can do, I just love the libraries cause I can just flip through and preview how they'll look. So that one I am actually liking a lot. So dimensional 10, but you know, it's just kind of playing around and find one you like. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I think that's the one that I chose. So that's so dimensional gold 10. And also the tools that I've used in this tutorial, I'm gonna have them available on my Patreon, but uh, if you're not subscribed to my Patreon, I'm gonna do some new little freebies this year. And so I'll have this um, web resolution digital background available for free, download below, and you can use it on commercial projects even, just not on items for resale. So 
Um, I want to, you know, give back and even people that even if you, you know, don't have my products or something, you know, I want to give you a little freebie. So you can download the whatever background I finish at the end. So I'm just going to go like this. It's fine. This might not be my final, but I just painted with that brush. The brush has a leopard texture in it. Super easy. You know, I can um, just play around, find something I like, but I'm doing like, this is a digital background. And then, you know, you could turn this into a social media graphic, um, a template for um, like cocktails or invitation template or something like that. Put a square in the middle of it and turn it into a quote graphic, you know? So a lot of different things you can do with your digital backgrounds. So that's the main part of it. And that's pretty cool. And if we flip back to my Chrome here, my Instagram, you know, you kind of got that. This isn't exactly a leopard, but I always look for an opportunity to use leopard. So that's cool. But also notice there's like a little sparkly in the black. So I'm going to create a new layer underneath the gold. And I am going to go into my creative couture styles collection, but color because I have some gorgeous jeweled styles in there that I think will be really cool. And I'm not gonna use this brush, but I'm just going to go like this. Actually, I'm going to go make sure that I'm painting in black. I'm just gonna paint like that. And I'm just wanting to preview my styles. So I'm gonna go here and flip through my jeweled styles. And I think I'll use jeweled four or jewel two, either one. I'm gonna leave that layer style on the layer. And now I'm gonna show you what brush I'm gonna do. So I'm using this dots brush that's also in my butter, rainbow butterfly kit. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna paint some dots. And I kind of like this, so like, um, I'm gonna delete this. So I just thought around the edges and some, in some parts of the, in between the gold, I'm gonna use some of these dots and look how like luxurious. And then you know, you've got the jeweled layer style on top of it, but it makes it look super rich, luxurious. I'm gonna go kind of go through here, kind of add some of those down there. And I just love it. It looks like, you know, you've got that depth and those dots just add like a really cool depth underneath it. And I think this looks cool. So. This is just um, super fast, but you get the idea. And then, you know, you can do what you want with it. Slap like, take a rectangle tool, put it in the center like this, center it on your background. And then, you know, you can turn it into a quote graphic and put some sort of bougie looking quote, but it'll be super fun. So. You know, I am so like a brush maniac these days, but sometimes I forget that the layer styles are awesome and they can just give you the effect that you want super fast. So do not forget, don't, uh, don't sit still on the layer styles just because, you know, those are from like a few years ago does not mean they are not awesome and super versatile for all your needs. So. I'll have all my links down below and you can download the free background web resolution and use it on your social media or something. And if you have questions, just let me know in the comments and then make sure you um, subscribe, stay tuned because I'm gonna have more content coming out like this because I am just on my new computer and super excited at the speed and my new setup. So there's gonna be a lot of content on the way.